Let's first get a report from F8. We covered the uh, keynote yesterday, and a lot of attention paid to a couple of things. Mark Zuckerberg and company announced a new platform in the Facebook app for V for a augmented reality using the camera. Uh, a platform in the sense that developers will have a way to access the camera and information and add filters and things to it. Some people said it was you know really a catch up to Snapchat's filters and world filters, which Snapchat announced the day before. Um, they also announced the uh, VR Spaces, which is a beta version of an Oculus Rift program that allows you to finally be in the same space as somebody else wearing Oculus Rift and interact with them. Um, so what do you think, Jeff? So I, I think uh, Farhad Manju in the Times this morning had the best piece that I've read and probably the best thing I think he's ever written uh, about Facebook today. And he starts off, and they're probably not going to like it very much, but he starts off saying, yeah, yeah, okay, so Mark's a thief. So they took this stuff from Snapchat. And they took other stuff from other places. They bought other companies. But then by the end, he says, and so what? Um, Steve Jobs stole, uh, uh, Bill Gates stole, uh, this is where it is. Uh, the power of Facebook is the network. And I think he was really right. Chris Cox showed a good slide yesterday in the, in the um, keynote notes where he showed one axis was how they go from one-on-one -on -one, uh, relationships to your community, uh, up through your, your, your geography, to government, to media to government. Right? And on the other axis was all the tools they have, from text to photos all the way to AR, VR. And what really struck me is they missed a third axis. And the third axis is what Facebook really is, which is that it connects people to people. And that's what Farhad is really talking about. That's the power of Facebook. That's the, that allows them to do anything they want. So, so yeah, they, they, took, they took features from Snapchat. Um, tough. It's a competitive world. And, and uh, maybe they weren't the most innovative in the world. Maybe they're following, but they have the network that is phenomenal. And so, yes, they have the power to bring rainbow puke to the world. Right. Well, you know, what reminds me of, uh, Matthew, is, uh, is Microsoft in, in its yeah. heyday in the 90s. Yeah. They, they embraced, embraced and an extent. Yes. An extent. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yes. That's yeah. exactly what I thought of, too. And, uh, you know, to, to be fair, I think they, they did copy stories, right? They copied it holeless bolus. Yeah. They've copied lots of other things, but what they are talking about with augmented reality, they didn't just uh, develop that stuff a week ago because they saw that Snapchat was working on it. This is, these are things that Facebook and just about everyone, I think, has been thinking about for quite some time. So it does look as though you know, they're duplicating things that Snapchat is doing. I think they both seem to be moving along the same track, which is to use the camera as the easiest sort of interface to a virtual world. That just makes sense. Um, they've also, their, their vision, I think, goes significantly farther than Snapchat's has, or at least has so far. So are they duplicating each other? Yes, but I don't think it's just Facebook is out of ideas and so they're copying whatever Snapchat does. Farhad Manju quotes Miranda Carr, uh, Evan Spiegel's uh, fiance. Uh, in an interview with the Times of London, she said she couldn't stand Facebook's behavior. Can they not innovate? Do they have to steal all of my partner's ideas, she asked. When you directly copy someone, that's not innovation. To which I say, writes Farhad, meh, there are lots of different kinds of innovation in the tech industry. Coming up with something first is not the only kind. Uh, one of the reasons Microsoft got dung dinged for this, or is it dunged for this? <laughs> it dunged is because it, it looked like um, they were being a bully. Right, they use their market share to invest. You know, to approach companies, say hey, we'd like to see more of that, and then and then steal it, uh, or they'd buy companies that were competitive and uh, and engulf them. Um, and I, to some degree, Facebook's done this, but I don't think Facebook's being a bully here. And I, I think you're right, no. uh, Jeff, that they they had to have been working on this all along. It wasn't like, oh, we like this worldviews. Can we do that tomorrow? Right. And but the, Matthews, but that's, the, the innovation they showed today in the, in the keynote where they talked about direct connections to your brain and AR glasses in our lifetime uh, that, that are comfortable and really work. And, and, and other things that show that they are truly innovating in, in gigantic ways. And Snapchat, bless their soul, came up with a mechanism that young people like to communicate with each other. They did a brilliant job of it. But in a competitive world, you see the best ideas and, and you use them. How innovative is, is Facebook? We'll see over the next 20 years. It's only just had its bar mitzvah. Well, you, you mentioned the, uh, that today's speech that the CTO at, of Facebook was there and did a good job of mapping out the future. But there also was towards the end, uh, and this is a little bit of flying car stuff, <laughs> right? But uh, we have a clip of, uh, I'm not sure who it is, but I'm sure she'll be identified in the clip, talking about 
typing with your mind and listening with your skin. Let's take a look. This is the head of Building 8, who's the, the Wowie Lab. Regina Dunn. Regina Dunn. Yes. Yeah. She cannot move or speak, but she is typing with her mind, not with eye blanks, with her mind. An array of electrodes the size of a pea has been implanted where her brain would normally control her, mo her motor functions. The electrodes record her neurons firing when she imagines moving the cursor. Then wow. the computer learns to move it for her. Using this system, she can type eight words per minute. She is typing at eight words per minute directly with her brain. That is pretty impressive. Now, uh, this is Regina Dugan. Uh, she also talked a little bit about uh, listening with your skin. This is not... Uh, by the way, she was uh, at the ATAP group uh, at Google and uh, uh, the director of DARPA. She, uh, she only joined uh, Facebook uh, recently, right? I think fairly recently, maybe a year ago. So I did mention that I'm not sure people typing with their mind exactly what they're thinking on Facebook is going to be a great <laughs> development for humanity. It's but a little, It's a little too close to that already. <laughs> yeah. 